The foundations of the Volcom family sit perched atop the beach at Pipeline, two houses side by side that the Volcom surf team call home. One is known as the Jerry House, named for the Pipeline legend Jerry Lopez, home over the years to generations of surfing greats. To get in, the qualifications are simple. Demonstrate world-class skill in a range of waves all over the globe, but especially in Hawaii. And nobody has seen more talent come through here than house manager Ty Van Dyke. The name of Oahu is the gathering place. It's a melting pot of all the best surfers and the huge surf fans that follow people here. Just like the international proving grounds, you'd say. It's beautiful and dangerous and so much to be learned here. Just the whole vibe of it is just, uh, it's definitely something special. If you're a team rider for Volcom, just the opportunity to have this, these houses to stay is huge. Everything from being in the Triple Crown to winning Wave of the Winter, just getting that exposure that's going to put them to the next level. And uh, the smart ones know, they come and take advantage of it, and they, they kill it. Across a small alley from the Jerry House stands a very different space. Miguelito got the wave of the day, huh? Welcome team that rider. That was sick. That was a f good wave. They still call it simply the Volcom House, the team's original base on the beach. Home to long standing members and new additions alike. And between those looking forward and those looking back, the balance is maintained by power surfer and house fixture Kaimana Henry. Want to grab a broom and sweep this part out here, please? Charlie, too much alcohol, man. Uh, Forgot the chair, man. I, I think it's good for the kids, just like a lot of them are coming straight out of mom and dad's house, you know? So if, if I can help out showing them how to clean, or I think it's important for them to learn just to take care of their own stuff. All the cups in the house, too. Like, I think there's like a bunch on the thing over here. You're representing Volcom, so you wanna, you wanna try your best to represent as, as best as you can. You can just put like all this shoes and shit right in here. If you're not being respectful, you're gonna get checked either by one of the, the big boys that are hanging around or the ocean will take care of you too, you know? It could be a, a number of things. It could be from like, hey, listen up, take care of your part, you know? Or, it could, I mean, I, I don't really know. <laughs> uh, who knows? Never know. You don't want to know. You don't want to know, so you don't disrespect anybody. You keep, you obey the rules. In this last day of the Hawaiian Pro at Haleiwa, Dusty Payne, Volcom's top competitor, is the only Volcom surfer still in the contest. Payne is fighting to stay on the World Championship Tour, which is made up of the world's top 34 surfers. If he doesn't perform well enough in Hawaii, he risks falling back into the lesser World Qualification Series, the equivalent of surfing's minor leagues. We're good, we're good, we're good. It's gonna be good, bro. Looking good. Looking good. Yeah. What do you need? Okay, well, hey. Yeah, I might change the why, what do you got on there? The yeah, MS. I think some of the big scores are going to be those right sets, though. It's the inside little the ones that run the better. The bigger ones don't. The blue, last the red. He knows that, too. Surfing is undoubtedly an individual sport, but Volcom's competitive surfers are surrounded by a robust support system, which in Dusty Payne's case consists of David Riddle, Matt Bemrose, and Jason Shibata each providing a different voice in his ear. For Dusty, it's a you know, critical day. He's made the quarterfinals. He can, he can re-qualify for the WCT right now because he had, he had some injuries and he went down. He missed a few events, so some results are needed here in Sunset. And so far, we're on a good run here, and we want to just continue that run. Here we go. Come on, Dust. Yeah, we're on, bro. We're in the midst of it all, dude. There's some good waves coming through. There's some really good waves coming through. There may be four waves in this set. Uh, Dusty has it now, yeah. Big air. Oh, this is a nice wave, kind of yeah. slow. Here we go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Right there. Here we go, boys, boys, look at this. A little launch and land right here. 
Watch his nose pick, watch his nose pick. Load and do a wow. It's a good back Real. up. Oh, oh, baby. What do we have here? Let's go, Jeff. That's the defending championship. He's on, he's on a heater right now. That was he needs a 7-5 seven five five to go to first. Got he a got goal. a 7-5. Oh! What a mouth down! He did a little like that too. Oh, okay, let's breathe. Dougie! Son, how are you, mate? We're doing, we're doing good. We're going to finish this thing today. We're going to finish it up.